பகவானுக்கு எத்தனையோ அவதாரங்கள் இருக்கு அண்ட் வென் ஸ்பீக் ஆஃப் சச் இன்கார்னேஷன்ஸ் வேதாஸ் யூஸ் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் வேர்ட் ஆயவகான்னு சொல்றது அஜாயமானோ பகுதா விஜாயதே the one who is unborn is born many a times that seems to be an oxymoron why should the person who is unborn be born many a times ajayamano one who is unborn is born many a times isn't it an oxymoron yes it is but the commentators for our revered vedas and upanishads have found a beautiful reply a befitting reply a convincing reply using the uh, terminology that uh, vedas have blessed us with with the niruktam which is the art of deciphering a word vyakaranam which is the grammar that acts as a backbone to a language sanskritam the language itself means that language which is already perfect there is no need for anybody to perfect it more it has reached that pinnacle of perfection in tamil there is a beautiful commentary called as eed where there is a befitting reply given udayavanukku palamulukku udamaikku oru mulukku this is the tamil line i'll try my level best to translate this as much as possible with an illustration a newly wed couple 30 years back just imagine it's all a black and white scene it's a newly married couple the girl is washing the clothes there is no machine available which it today washes dries and leaves us the only job of putting it on everything else is done by the machine so just 30 years before the lady was seated near the stone and she was about to wash the clothes so she saw a well which was close by she put the vessel to fetch water from it and the vessel which has been handed over through generations usually virtues and values are something that need to be treasured and to be handed over to generations in their house it was that vessel which was handed over by to the through generations she left it by mistake in the well and her mother in law that's why i said 30 years before the mother in law said you need to get inside the house only if you have the vessel back so she sat on the stone which was used for washing the clothes and waited for her husband who had gone out for work to come back the husband came he was not one like me he knew swimming so he got inside the well draw, jumped inside the well to get the vessel which he had dropped eventually the first dip he made and got out he got a soap box which he had put long back then he again dipped himself again and then got an aluminium vessel which was dropped two months back she he gave it to her then he did another third dip the third dip and then he got the vessel which she had dropped that morning udamai means that which you own the object the accessory that you have that is udamai udayavan in tamil means one who owns it so the one who owned it had to dip himself many a time but the accessory the object had to dip itself only one time so in this well of life and birth which is a circle which is cyclic punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jathare shayanam are the beautiful words from the magnum opus of adi shankara bhagavad pada which is called as bajagovindam so there he says that an object which is dropped into the well likewise a sentient soul which is an embodiment of bliss and knowledge called as the jivatma people may ask what is the size of a jivatma vedas beautifully say that a single strand of hair is to be taken from the tail of a cow divided into 100 parts a part to be taken divided into 100 parts part to be taken divided into 100 parts and then the part to be taken the size the measure of that part is a part of a jivatma 1 by 100 by 100 by 100 1 by 10 power 6 numerator 10 power minus 6 so atma is in the level of micro so people who have undergone a bypass surgery or eventually may still not be able to spot a jivatma even if the doctor shows you on a monitor because in the it's in the level of a micro so this sentient soul has dropped into the well which is the cycle of life and death so the one who owns it this sentient soul is owned by the lord so he jumps inside the well to fetch the sentient soul his aim is to fetch a particular a specific sentient soul he jumps eventually he gets something some other sentient soul again he dips he gets another again he dips he gets another so every time he dips he incarnates 
and every incarnation in Sanskrit is called as avataram because you jump from the top to the bottom. So he has jumped from the top inside to the well to the bottom. So it is an avataram. So there are plenty of incarnations. Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha dushkritam dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge. Madhvacharya comments that the Lord has incarnated in the Treta Yuga, which is the first, uh, Krita Yuga, which is the first. Next in Treta Yuga, third is Dwapara Yuga, and that he will not incarnate in Kali Yuga. Whereas Parashara Bhatta, the commentator of Vishnu Sahasranamam, as per the Visishtadvaita philosophy, in his beautiful work called as Bhagavad Guna Darpanam, says that the Lord incarnates even in Kali Yuga. So every dip he makes is an avataram, and he has made plenty of avatarams. Padmanabhadi Asankhe Avatarangal Yudutta Bhagavan is a beautiful line from the fifth chapter of Rahasya Treyasaram by a poet par excellence called as Vedanta Deshika. In this Adhikaram called as Tattvatraya Chintana Adhikaram, he says that the Lord has incarnated in many. But like how we have plenty of songs and Pepsi Uma chooses to say that these are the top ten songs, Likewise, there are many avataras and the Lord has said and our commentators and poets and composers and philosophers for excellence have chosen that these are the 10 important dashavatarams and that is going to be the topic of today. Well, at times it happens in discourses in the time given, half the time goes in introduction. So I am no exception to it. So I hope all of you will forgive this fallacy of mine because certain things are incorrigible. I am also one in that particular group. So the first avataram is called as Matsya avataram. Matsyam, me, which is fish. It is said that a demon had stolen away the Vedas from the hands of Brahma. Like how we, when we, are, I, I still remember, well, I used to go to kindergarten, I used to come back taking everything back home, except the books. So the books used to be left at school. So the only, every time, even now, I do get dreams of how I used to write the paper of thermodynamics while I was at Pilani. Because that was a subject where if you would study, you would not get marks. Even if you don't study, you will not get marks. So both the ways, you never fetch marks by reading or not reading it. So these are the dreams that probably I get. I still get a dream wherein I forget books to school and go. So Brahma was a similar candidate. Now that he had lost Vedas, the books, the scriptures, he started crying. Vedattai parimugamaya ruliya nam paraman kaan min are the beautiful words in the nectarine Tamil that has been spoken by the Alvar where he says that the Lord incarnated as a fish. Something that is an innate, inseparable characteristic feature of the Lord are his lotus-like eyes. It is noticed when we say Sahasranamam Padmanabho Aravindakshaha Aravinda means lotus, Akshi means sight, eyes, lotus like eyes, Aravinda Akshaha. When Draupadi was dragged to the court in a, amidst the Kauravas, she started seeking the help of the princes and the kings who were seated around. None of them came forward to help her. That time she said, Dheya Sada Savitrimandala Madhyavarti Narayana Sarasijasana Sannivishtaha. Keyuravan, Makarakundalavan, Kiriti, Hari, Hiranmayavapuhu, Dhrita, Shankachakraha, Dwaraka Nilaya, Chuta Govinda. So she has called him by so many names. She has addressed him by so many features of his that, are, that speak of his glory. Yet the Lord did not turn. Lastly, she said, Pundari Kaksha, Rakshamam Sharanagatam. It was for that last word wherein she said, The one with the lotus like eyes, come and protect me. So the Lord, when he incarnated as a fish, the poet says, Matsyaha Kamalalochanaha. Even while he incarnated as a fish, his lotus-like eyes were inseparable from him. Excellent. So, Icha Meena. Now, there, there could be a question. Why did the Lord incarnate as a fish? A beautiful and a befitting reply is given by one of the poets called as Arasani Pale Venkata Dvari Kavi, who says that the Lord has been inspired by fish-like eyes. Can somebody tell me who inspired him with a fish like eyes? Had we known that you would ask questions, we would have also gone like a few other people who have left the hall. Right? No, whatever answer you say, I'll say it correct. Now you can say. Because people have made it a practice only if Prakash Raj asks, I will answer and get that one crore. I may not give that one crore, but still a great 
பேட் ஆஃப் அப்ரிசியேஷன் குட் கம் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் சைட் ஆஸ் வெல் எதனால் அவருக்கு வந்து மத்தியாவதாரம் எடுக்க தோணிட்டு தமிழில் கேட்டால் தான் சொல்லுவா போல இருக்கு கண் இப்போ பகவான் மத்தியாவதாரம் எடுத்தார் எதால இன்ஸ்பயர் ஆகி எடுத்தார் நாங்கள்லாம் இப்போ பாம்பேல சல்மான் கான் வந்து கையில் ஒரு பிரேஸ்லெட்லாம் போட்டிருக்கிறத பார்த்து நாங்களும் போட்டுக்கணும் பாருங்க அனுகரணம்னு பேர் இருக்கு அந்த மாதிரி எதை பார்த்து போட்டுருந்தார் இச்சாமீன <laughs> The next incarnation was when the lords, the devas had lost their wealth and all their wealth was submerged in the sea. That is why ocean today in Sanskrit is called as Ratna Karaha, one who is a repository to all kinds of wealth and riches. So the lord said, why don't you churn it? So using Mantara, which is the mountain, Mandara Parvatam, and Vasuki, which is the snake, the Devas and the Asuras started churning. Vadavarayay mataki, Vasuki yay nanaki, Vadavarayay mataki, Vasuki yay nanaki, Kadal vanna panduru. keeping the mandara mountain as a churning rod vasuki as a churning rope the snake as a churning rope the devas and asuras on either sides of the mountain started churning once they started churning mandara which lost its foundation its base started drowning in the sea then they sought the help of the lord then the lord thought why not me incarnate as a tortoise while i was in my fifth standard my father had uh, gone to japan and uh, he came back he came back with a pencil whose height was more than mine at that point in time so the pencil had one adi sesha at the top i was wondering japanese would always come with great concepts what was so innovative about this pencil because that which is very soothing to all of us is scratching at the back and that is impossible even for ram even though he had big huge hands because it's something it's painful to reach your back some people even in their night while they sleep they start scratching they are unaware that they have scratched so much the next day morning when they get up their back will be as bad as the kurukshetra bhumi dharmakshetre kurukshetre samavedha yuyutsavaha mamakaha pandava astaiva kimapurvada sanjayam ketulla ranagarama irkum karana kaleya bara yogam na deshigan ana mari it should be like that so i thought the pen, pencil was given to me with adi sesha for some other reason the reason was it was given for scratching the back so eventually when we scratch we get that little petty pleasure out of it and that pleasure puts us to sleep and sleep makes us snore wow that's a sound sleep then so the lord thought i need something to scratch at the back so he took the form of a tortoise and the mandara mountain was kept on its back and it was churned every time it was churned it rubbed on its back and that rubbing caused him to snore that snoring made the waves the water in the ocean go as waves that's what vedanta deshika says in dashavatara stotram that the lord incarnated as a tortoise not to restore the wealth back to the devas not to see that they were rich again but to scratch his back bihara kachapa next is a beautiful avataram which is called as varaha avataram the one who came as a boar probably in the western countries or even today in our country if we have to abuse someone we say you swine right but the lord never ever had that 
demeaning attitude towards any creature of his because all are regarded as his children. To us, a swine is different from us, whereas to him, it is still his child. So, Andar, the saint, the mystic poetess in Tamil says, Pashitutthu kidanda parmagatku pandorunal mashudambi nirvara manamila pandriyam. The one who did not have manam. Isn't the, doesn't this line sound quite uh, confusing for us? Manam illa manam shodram. Bhagavan manam illyan keta. There are two kinds of derivation. Upamana pandri. Abhimana milada pandri. Abhimana means that arrogance. The Lord did not have the arrogance that he was the Lord. Abhimana nila pandri. He had no comparison. Upamana nila pandri. Mana nila pandriyam. Teshudaya tevar. Thiruvaranga chelvanar. Peshirupanagal perkavum perave. So he came to restore one of his wives, Mother Earth, from the cosmic waters in which she was submerged by that demon whose eyes were like the gold. Hiranya Aksha. Hiranya Aksha. <clears throat> when we speak of our earth and our country, there have been great poets, not only in our language, Tamil, across languages in our country, who have spoken about the beauty, the grandeur, and the kind of wealth that our country is blessed with. A Bengali poet says, a wild boar. The next is a beautiful incarnation. Tamil is a latest Some people keep talking for a long time. They don't make any impact. The exact example would be me. I've been talking for such a long time. I don't know what kind of impact I've made. So, Ram lived for 11,000 years. Dashavarisha Sahasrani Dashavarisha Shatanicha, 11,000 years. What impact he made? We still accuse Ram, whether he is the one who killed Vali by betraying him. Is he the one who took a step back while fighting with the demons at Janathana, namely Karadushana and Trishiras? Is he the one who conducted the test of fire to Sita? So we accuse him. So 11,000 years, the number of years have not made any effect on us, have not made any impact on us. Krishna lived for 125 years in Dwapara Yuga. You know what was his age when he recited Bhagavad Gita on the battlefield of Kurukshetra to Arjuna? Make a guess. Whatever you say, say it's right now, say now. Uh, you know, the, the, the importance of asking questions in lectures, which is traditionally called Upanyasams is, because generally when you hear Upanyasams, any kind of person is put to sleep. So, to ensure that all of them are awake, these questions are asked. Please don't mistake me. Anike Andarshana, Pandurunal, Putratin, Vaivin, the Kumbhakarnanu, Totru, Munake, Perantri, Ildan, Tandano. While Kumbhakarna lied dead on the battlefield while fighting with Ram, before dying, he called Ram and said, You have to be my lawyer. Ram said, Why should I be your lawyer? Because the lawyer writes the bill and you are the one with the bill. What is the great asset that you have? Sleep. Good sleep. All of us will agree that good sleep is also something that needs to come through luck and fortune. So if you go to some of the houses in the night, one or two o'clock, it will be like Erod Junction. People will be wandering here and there, no sleep. So every, the next day morning, they'll start discussing. Phone money, if you have to go on the day, you have to go on the day. And that's it. 
So he said, the biggest asset that I have is good sound sleep. So you need to distribute my asset into two parts, 99% and 1%. Ram said, whom should I give this 99% to? He said, in Kali Yuga, there will be a mystic poetess in Tamil called as Andal who will be brought up by a great poet called as Periyalvar in the village called as Sri Vili Puttur in Tamil Nadu and she will be singing 30 verses in Chase Tamil called as Thiruppavai and from Pasuram number 6 to Pasuram number 15 she will wake up 10 different girls and in one of the girls houses you should give this 99 person sleep to that girl that is why when Andar knocks at the door of the girl she doesn't wake up she knocks again she doesn't wake up third time she knocks she doesn't wake up then Andar says I now feel that while Kumbhakarna died on the battlefield he left that great sleep with you Pandorunar Kutraktin Vaivir in the Kumbhakarna nu Totru Munake Perundu Yildan Tandano 99 person was given to that girl Ramas the rest of the one person should be given to whom give it to all those people who listen to lectures in Kalangir Arangam <laughs> he came for a short period of time. He just came for that short a period. But the impact that he made is great. Today, we don't see a Varahavataram's photo lying on the side of the panel there. We don't see a Matsyavataram. We don't see a Ramavataram. We don't see a Krishnavataram. We see a Nisumavataram, Malor and Nisumman's photo that is next to Upliyappan's photo there. If you can trace out. Uh, since I'm not in a position to get up and show you, I think others who have seen it can show it. Narasimharka put your impact. There are lots of things that this incarnation has a message in store for us. Prakladan or Shiripillai. Kiranyakashapu, he kind of dear, uh, uh, performed severe penance towards Brahma and he obtained boons like I should not be killed inside the house nor outside the house, neither on the top nor at the bottom, neither by a human being nor by an animal. Brahma thought he's going to lose his job if he's going to give all these boons. So he said, what more? I should not be killed during the day or in the night. Brahma started sweating. Then he said, further, I should not be killed by an object that has life, not that doesn't have life. Brahma said, I think I'm going to lose the job. Any slip is okay with us, but the pink slip is something that we all abhor, right? So he thought he's going to get a pink slip. At the end, the demon said that I should not be killed by any of those beings that have been created by you. Brahma said, thank God, this is only relief. There is one person whom I have not created. He is the one who can kill you. Because even in Sri Rangam, when you go today, it's a beautiful place. When you cross the Kaveri River, you go across those either side, you'll find great orchards of coconut trees. And you go further, you can find the huge Gopuram that was constructed by one of the greatest pontiffs called Mukur Adagishinga, the 45th pontiff of Sri Ahovilamat. And once you cross that, you get a great street called as Adayavalanjan. Next you cross, you get Chittaravivi. Next you cross, you get Uttaravivi. Next you get the fourth tier, the fifth, the sixth and the seventh. So once you go, that's called as the Gayatri Mandabam. Inside the Gayatri Mandabam, above the Sesha Peetham, under the Pranavakara Vimanam, amidst the Thirumana Thun, which is the Kalyana Thuna, lies a beautiful figure with a huge crown with moon-like face with lotus-like eyes with a sesame flower-like nose with coral-like lips with conch-like neck with a broad chest that sports a resplendent kausuba gem and that which has the fragrance of a vanamala and that which has a beautiful mole called as Srivatsam which is an embodiment of all insentient matter on earth and lies on it a beautiful throne on which is seated the greatest goddess on earth called as Mahalakshmi and under that you get a thin gift and with the nabi and on the nabi you get a kamalam which is a lotus and on the lotus is Brahma Ah, <laughs> 
டீச்சர்ஸ் செட் யூ ஆர் பீன் டீச்சிங் விச் இஸ் நாட் தேர் இன் த சிலபஸ் சிலபஸ் இல்லாத அது கூட டீச்சர் போக வரும் வராதா இழுத்தும் போனார் ஹி வாஸ் டேக்கன் டு தி கோர்ட் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் फादर ஹிரண்யகிருஷ்ணு ஹி வாஸ் டார்மென்டட் ஹி வாஸ் புட் இன்டு தி ஃபயர் ஹி கேம் பேக் he was put before the poisonous snakes he came back he was thrown from the cliff he came back he was thrown before the elephants he came back then the father asked you keep telling that there is a supreme personality of godhead there is a person who is above all of us there is a person who is amidst us there is a person who is within us that parama chetanan that paramatma that hari where is he tumilum mulan sollum sollilum mulan dad you keep looking for him here and there you ask me where is hari hari is there in that word where he is there in that word is he is the, there in that word hari ni sollum sollilum ulan hiranikashpu said is he there in this pillar that stands right before me when i said he is there everywhere it would be redundant for you to ask such a question if he stays in this don't you think that this pillar is also a part of everything so hiranyakashipu said i thank you my son for having shown that place or of that person who is of a puzzling nature who day he day ne pere sanskrit la puzzling nature na he took his mace and ran towards the pillar bhukandam varanandam paravara viratam damba damporu damba dim 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 ahara kara kara damba damba ீஷணே <laughs> ஆதிபுருஷாவியே <laughs> <laughs> his tongue was moving here and there like the sword that would wagger around in the hands of a great veera a warrior who stands on the battlefield his eyes were resplendent like the thousand suns that were melted and put into sockets his two nostrils and the the, the gateways to the nostrils looked as if two huge caves in a rocky mountain have been opened and the air that came in and came out looked as if there was a huge cyclone or a tornado that went inside the person who came he took the demon on his lap he neither sat inside nor outside he sat on the doorstep he sit he put the demon nor on the top nor at the bottom on his lap then he came at that point in time of the day which is a juncture of the day and night which is called as pradosha samayam then he was the one with a animal face and the body of a human being he took the demon and killed him with his nails nails can be called as animate because they keep growing they can be called as inanimate because when you cut them you don't feel the pain they are inanimate as well as animate they are neither animate nor inanimate he killed them pai pai amritavalli kripa kare vasale Aho bilahari priya kari aho bilahari priya kari aho bilahari 
This is a Sanskrit composition composed by me, which has two signatures, the name of the raga, Aho Bilahari Priyakari. Hari in Sanskrit could mean to the person who removes the sins. Harir Harati Papani. The next meaning is a monkey. The third is a lion, a he lion, not a lioness, a lion. So Hari, the one, Nrsimha, the raga which he likes is Bilahari. That is why the district of Karnataka was once called as Bilahari Rajyam became Bellari. So Bilahari. So Hari, Bilahari. And if you split it the other way, you get Ahobila Hari Priyakari. The lion who rests in Ahobilam. That is Narasimha Ahobila Hari Priyakari. If you split it the other way, Aho Bilahari Priyakari. Aho in Sanskrit is a Sambodhana Shabdam. Hanta, Ha, He. Hanta, Aho. These are all words in Sanskrit which if I'm a Tamil learn, Yala, Abhinga Ramana, Adhe Marida, Aho. Adhe Marida. Aho, Bela Hari Priya Kari. Adhe Vandhe, Kari Priya Kari, Hari Priya Kari, Bela Hari Priya Kari, Aho Bela Hari Priya Kari. Thyagarada Yoga Vai Bhavam, Dikshadar Oda Kirtana Madhri Irkhe, Kamala Sana Pitha Sthite. My signature is, Narayana Dasa Hridaya Sthite Pahi Pahi Amrita Valdi The next beautiful incarnation happened in the God's own country. Some of them say with Ramayana that Siddhashramam in the north was the place Vamana was born. But this is a place, Kerala, which we regard as the place Parashurama Kshetram, the God's own country where Bali Chakravarti lived, ruled, and Vamana, the Lord came as Vamana, the dwarf, to protect him. as a dwarf to protect the people. In our Sanatana Dharma, there are two schools of thought. One which says that we should not cross the seas. Kadal kadalandu poga pradhan juluva. Ena nama sampradaya padi karma bhoomi na nama bharata desham na. In the Edatta Vishnu Purana thala, beautiful lines of Parashara Maharishi speak about what region is karma bhoomi. So our preceptors our revered Acharyas have not crossed the oceans. But there is another school of thought. Because we need to convince why we all cross the oceans, right? We should not speak of the other. Perumal, when he incarnated as Vamana and then grew up to Trivikrama, he measured the earth. Did he measure only India? 
He measured the entire world, which is composed of Australia and America. So all those lands have the stamp of Trivikrama's feet. So we can go. So there are two, two schools of thought. Whichever school is convincing, you may take it. Because now that you have crossed the ocean, now there is no kind of... Uh, we, right Honorable Srinivasa Shastri always used to say in Ramayana, Dasharatha was the person who would always give boons and hates and repent in leisure. Now we have to repent in leisure, whether we have done the right thing or not. Let's not repent what we have done may be right according to one school of logical thought. Vamana Navadar Aditar. Or when I was uh, giving a discourse, there was a youth session in Abu Dhabi. So one child came and told me. He came as Vamana Adwa. And he was wearing a Veshti. Veshti is a dhoti. Then he grew up as Srivikrama. Didn't his dhoti tear? Isn't it a right question? If you have a Harry Potter fast, you can see the moon and the moon and the moon. You can see the moon and the moon and the moon. Didn't that tear? It's a very valid question. The right answer is, our Acharyas have said, that all accessories and objects of the Lord are equally expandable and com compressible in nature as Him. I hope you're getting the point. I'll give you another example of this. Once, while Lord was reclining on the serpent couch on, uh, the, uh, in the milky ocean, Garuda, who is the embodiment of Vedas and Vedic scriptures, was standing outside. To his surprise, he found Virochana, the demon getting inside the abode without seeking permission. He went in and came out quietly with something hidden. Garuda thought, what, what must he be hiding? And he turned back, he saw that the crown of the Lord was missing. Yo, yo, inga kuda thirittu porudhe. Siliya, inga edha madarudhu na? Garuda flew. Garuda makhila veda nida virudam vishatpeda nothkanti tasunta vaikunta pili kudaskanta nita. Svanida gatikprita rudra kikrista nabhoga gadoka dhuda kuraskanta kabraka veda yatha veva mana vidirvadi patalpa vishvarya manaspata pati karvatta rochi. It's called the nature and sanskrit called as dandakam. Now, if you want to go to Ram Devan, you can go to Ram Devan, you can go to Ram Devan. I don't have to practice it. Tamil is a car poem, column, and you can go to Ram Devan. 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 Garudan Paranda, Krita said, Why couldn't you say that? Why couldn't you say that? Why couldn't you say that? Karena height ini itu benar-benar kita tahu, mana Bhagawan komplain bahawa orang ini bukan ada utama yang teriak kredo. Guru dah nanti mana? Then while he was flying down, he saw the beautiful place called as Brindavan. There there was a beautiful boy, blue hued, sapphire in complexion, who was playing the Venu. Kasturi telakam lalata palake, vakshas thale kausuvam nasa agre nava bhakti kam karatale Venu kare kankanam sarvange hari chandanam sulalitam kanthe chamudha vadi gopastri parideshti to vidyate. Pada cuaca mana yang urin dar, anda perihal kredit atau Krishna itu fitpan ni apa? Anda kredit atau fitpan na Krishna itu unda perlu ber. Anak correcta fitta aja, ye ni kita all those accessories of the Lord have the nature of compressibility and expansibility, expandability as just as him. Ada nala wahaman yang penting dah, beshti kiriya lah. This is the moral of the story. Nana nala kuat dergo demonstrate tapi sains itu lu, ada tak? Tuh wahaman yang beshti did not tear, ada. Adakah wataram Parashura Rama wataram itu? Kita malah beri mohon 1970s angry young man. Adakah orang Rosha Rama? Abah Papa, his father Jamadagni, a Brahmin was killed by a barbaric and uncivilized king called as Kartya Biryarjuna. So the son Parashura Rama vowed that I shall kill the person who has killed my father out of no justice, and I vow that I shall kill all. Kshatriya kings who come from various dynasties who have been tormenting people. Rumbadaga, Ella Jo Vada Manito, and Rasta said it's a Apaki Tarpanam Pandar. It's called as Panchasyamantaka Kshetram, which is today called as Kurukshetram. Rosha Ramanapir. The next was a beautiful incarnation 
That is why when Parvati had asked, is there any shortcut? Is there something which is short and sweet in approach? Keep it short and sweet in approach. Vishnor Nama Sahasrakam Pathyate Pandyate Nityam Shrotu Vichamyaham Prabhona Keta Sarvajnirana Paramashivana Sunnar Shri Rama 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 Iti Rame Rame Mano Rame Sahasra Nama Tat Tulyam Aira Nama Swad Equalan Rama Nama Varana in Sanskrit, Yara, Lava, Ra is two. Pa, pa, ba, ba, ma, ma is five. Rama, two, five. Two into five is ten. He said, Shri, Rama, 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 Iti. Ten into ten into ten. Thousand. That is why thousand names of the Lord is equivalent to Ram's name. Sahasra, Nama, Tat, Tulyam. Our scriptures are not illogical. Our scriptures don't describe things that are figments of imagination it is it is a person who speaks is a who's a worthless bobble who says such things unless and until you have a knowledge of the language in which it was delivered how can one make such uncharitable comments against the scriptures that have been revered in the past by our preceptors bhasha jnana illa life of pai okana paakana pai padala vandu pai value vera sa solla patirukku Gopi Bandhu Yadishamana Kalayana Shloka 3, 1, 4, 2, 8 10, 23 digits to pi value to Nama Shastra Paitagora Siram Shola Patta Vrigvera Sammi Taila Where is the Veno? What more do we need? Photosynthesis has been mentioned in one of the Samhitas 2000 years back Adi Shankara in one of his commentaries speaks about the earth going around the sun even before somebody discovered 300 before that the earth was going around the sun so nothing should leave a surprise. Probably we didn't have the exact public relations officer who could actually go out to the public and say we have done so much. So we may be lacking in the PRO skills, but everywhere else we are at the pinnacle and we are at the top. So number system is very important. Bhavayami Raguram, I respect Raguram. 
even today manmohan singh is respecting raguram correct that is how it is so bhavayami raguram can apply even to the till date there are many aspects in these 24000 beautiful chase verses of sanskrit in house in shrimad ramayana that i can speak about nevertheless one aspect that i need to bring to the public is our religion speaks of people who spoke of atheism even in the days of ramayana it was called as a school of charvaka samayam charuva there was one minister to the king dasharatha called as jabali who speaks such words of atheism who in whose sentences there could be flavor of atheism this is being mentioned by amartya sen in his book called as argumentative indian and right in the first page but that doesn't stop us from saying that atheism was agreed by arjunathana the might was not when ram was with sita and lakshman in chitrakoot bharat comes with shatrughna and the three matas the three mothers to fetch ram back to ayodhya he conveys the news of the death of his father this the demise of dasharatha ram weeps ram sobs he cries he hits on his chest where in jabali comes and says ram come back to ayodhya ram says it's my father's words that i have to follow ram why are you following your father's words because i need to respect his atma have you seen the atma he asks now people ask us right have you seen his atma ram said what do you what do you intend to say see there is no such thing called as atma there is nothing there is only one there is shariram and if it dies that is it that is the end of the life there is nothing like punarjanmam there is no atma transfer and all that and he gave another example if you take loan you don't have to give back probably we will be happy hearing all this but ram said the only mistake that my father has committed during his lifetime is appointing a atheist minister like you in his court then jabali said sorry i just wanted to bring you back to ayodhya and so i gave this as a reason i believe so i think raguram should be born again in this world to remove atheism beautifully this entire story the entire scripture of ramayana has been condensed in beautiful sanskrit which is nothing but a tongue twister betty butter but butter ke food pack 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 ellam adikana ma adha vida vasathiya irukum idhukku raghuvira gadhyam nu peru jayatya shrita tantra tadvanta vidhvamsa nodaya prabhavan sitaya devya parama vyoma bhaskara जय जय महावीर महावीर धौरे अदेवा सुर समर समय समुदि जन किल निर्जर निर्धारित निरवधि कमाते अदवदन समिल दैवत परिषद भक्ति दादा शरदी भावस्ते जगत कुल कमल दीपा विशद दिवरण सन चरण चतुर दशरथ चरम चरण विमोच कोसल सुता कुमार भाव कंचुकी नकारण कौमार के गोपाली तौशिका कर प्रणाम कर जडकिरण शकल दर जटिल नट पदि मुकुट दट नट न पटु विबुद सरी दति अति बहुल मधुगल नलित पद नलि नर जुबिद निज बिजन जग दुबल तनुचित परम मुनिवर युवति खुशिक सुत कथित विधिद नव विविध कथ मैथिल नगर सुलोचना लोचन चकोर चंद्र खंड पर शुको दंड प्रकांडन खंडन चौंडन बुध दंड खंड शुको दंड प्रकांडन खंडन चौंडन बुध दंड चंड कर what more exercise does the tongue need so this was the beautiful incarnation of ram whatever said and done there can be no incarnation which can be as sweet as beautiful as beautiful beauty personified as much as krishna avatar purti magalai pirand porira velu purti magalai poli 
My son should not be born. If he were to be born, my brother Kamsa will come and kill him. To that person who was eagerly awaited Ram on his birthday, which is the Rama Navami, we make two simple dishes. One is Panagam, the other is Nirbhur. There can be nothing more simple than this. Whereas on Krishna's birthday, which is Sri Jayanti, where his birth was not so much awaited, the mother thought that he would be killed. We make 40 dishes. It used to be made once, now we are buying it. Whatever. It will either come in a powdered form when they take it out of the gas, or it will come in a perfect spherical shape, but you need another vella cheda to break this vella cheda. It will be so hard. So you need to dip that in water, let it store in water for some time and then chew it. I still remember a beautiful anecdote by one of my Acharyas called the Sauminarayan Achar. He learnt Shastras, the Vaishnavite scriptures from his uncle who was called as Goshti Puram Swami. So while he was uh, there, his Periyamma, who is the elder aunt, she cooked various kind of sweet dishes. In an alaman where the bada alva and alva in the alva illa, the kara seva di the lamani. Napa the vidamana pakshana karta, nala mani ka vidavade, utsava the muti mari pika kitchen kula, varumbo mula ravandrika, another ele, ela mundila pirk. Pam itane, kashta perte, bebeerte. She kept all those boxes full of different sweets before the Lord. And the husband would stand, was just standing before the Lord and he was the one who used to offer the food to the Lord. It is a practice in Vaishnavite tradition that when you offer food to the Lord, you make sure that you know the names of it. You should be ready with the names. So he immediately asked her, what are these? So she said, Kara says, Bundi. Tenga Barbi, Ilanjalipta, Kadai Sila, mixture no Mishana. You take that inside, he said. She felt really bad because that is the most toughest to make. You need to make 10 different dishes, mix it together. She cried, she left, and she took it back. Meanwhile, my Acharya went there and he said, Prima, why are you crying? He said, You keep all the other dishes, but take this mixture out. What did you tell him? I told this is mixture. He understood the reason why his periyappa was angry. In those days, people abhorred using English words in their daily practice. Narsin Jolamata, Shevelita in Anjulua, Kasset in Jolamata, Ulina Adan in Jolua. He blinked in Jolamata, Tirtir in Murchan in Jolua. Eduard Nala, we have to use only Sanskrit or Tamil words. So when she said mixture, there is no other word that we can think of for mixture, right? We have been telling from time immemorial that this is mixture. So this Acharya of mine, he said, you give that mixture to me and took it inside and said, Anna, I do not know that Dashavadara Bhakshanam is not a good thing. But the other thing is that you don't know Dashavadara Bhakshanam. No, no. So mixture from today is called as Dashavadara Bhakshanam. If somebody asks you if there is an Indian name to mixture, don't worry, don't hesitate in saying that it is called Dashavadara Bhakshanam. Krishna, has been personified as the Lord of Sri Guruvayu and Bhattadril who lived 350 years back in Melpattur shifted to Guruvayu and he composed 1034 verses in Sanskrit called as Sriman Narayaniyam. At one point in time, he wonders 
Hey Krishna, I wonder in Bhagavatam they say that on that autumn night when the nectarine rays of the moon was falling on the powdered and the resplendent sand on the banks of river Yamuna while it was flowing in such a great flow and with the bamboo trees that were bent towards the river it seems you performed a great rasa dance along with the five lakh gopas trees who lived and who inhabited the village of Ayarpadi or Brinda, Gokulam or Brindavanam. I still can't imagine that a seven year old boy fearless of the night could dance amongst and amidst those ladies. I still can't imagine he closed his eyes. When he closed his eyes, he could hear the flute play. And while he heard the flute play, he opened his eyes and there he saw a beautiful boy standing at the sanctum sanctorum of Guruvayur called as Krishna and around him were women and he was a witness, a direct witness Pratyaksha Pramanama Patar he said, oh little boy I still can't see your face turn your face while the Lord turned the first thing he noticed was the curly black odorful hair curly locks of the Lord and he said, now I see the curly lock. Keshapa shadhrita pinchika vidati sanchalamakara kundalam Keshapa shadhrita pinchika vidati sanchalamakara kundalam Harajalavanam malika going around in circles and dancing with the Lord, Bhattatri could spot a 50 year old woman who was bulky in nature, Thula Shariram, Adamudiyala, Vethu Kottradu, Vethu Murchayai Vindu Thal, Deshikan Jona, Rapi Nikhila Loka, Sucharita Mushtindaya Durita Murchana Ajuttam, Sanjeevaya Thuda Yemam, Anjana Girinatha, Ranjani Inbavatin, Daya Shadakatha Shalrar, Murchayai Vindu Thalam, Murchayara Samayasila, and the friend, that lady, she fell on that broad chest of the Lord, which has two. One, that is an identity mark for all the insentient souls, which is the Achetanam. And then, which is the sentient souls, which is the Achetanam, which is the resplendent Kausubha gem. She just fell on his chest. And the Lord asked, bring those holy waters of Yamuna. Why I am saying holy waters of Yamuna is, Andal says, Tuya peruni Yamunai Turaivan. So, she brought, so that lady brought those waters of Yamuna sprinkled on this girl's face. This lady was back to consciousness, but she thought, I have been I have been fortunate enough to rest on that chest of the Lord. Why should I act as if I have come back to shape? Let me still act as if I am unconscious and she slept. Bhattadreed said, maybe Krishna did not spot you doing this. Maybe the women around did not spot you doing this. But I have spotted. You cannot cheat me. Swinna sanna tanu vallare tadanu kapi nama pashu pangana kapi nama pashu pangana tanjamam samavalam bate madhuta kanti bhatamu deshana achira. Which decade, which chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam that has been envisioned by our preceptors and pontiffs where the Lord has shown all his Leela activities can I speak of? I may speak of his Venuganam, I may speak of his Rasa Leela, I can speak of his Govardhano Dharanam, I can speak of his Kaliya Nardhanam, whatever spoken of. There needs to be a lot of time and births 
for a sentient soul like me to speak about his activity. Nevertheless, his Venuganam, the way he played the flute, the way people were attracted is something that has inspired our poet. There is one another incarnation which a lot of our preceptors have mentioned which is Balarama Avataram but that has been regarded by a person, a great Acharya called as Srinivas Acharya who came in the line of Duddaya Acharya as Shakti Aveshya Avataram Fakkat Kaurava Pattana Prabhutayon Deshi Anjolrar That is a great incarnation but people when they read the pastimes of Balarama they may have a lot of doubts whether he is incarnation of the Lord or of Adi Sesha there is no doubt Adi Sesha himself is the incarnation of the Lord in Bhustuti, Vedanta Deshika says that, O oh my Lord, you love, you seem to love the goddess earth more than Mahalakshmi, for you have been sporting her on the top of your head by being Adi Sesha yourself. So Balarama Avataram has its own importance. A few other poets have spoken about Buddha Avataram as one of the Dasha Avataram. Jayadeva in Ashtapadi, the first chapter he speaks of Buddha. Annamacharya, the student to Adivan Shatakopan of Ahobilamat says, Daruna Buddha Kaliki Dashadidha Avatara Daruna Buddha Kaliki Dashadidha Avatara Shri Ramana Go Amongst the thousand names that have been celebrated by our poets, Parashara Bhatta, the Santu Kuratarvan, and regarded as the Rajaputra of Swami Ramanuja, in his beautiful commentary, Magnum Opus called as Bhagavad Guna Darpanam, offers two names to Buddha Vataram Ratnanabha Sulochanaha. Abdin Rendu Namangal Buddha Napati Shalirkar. And the Buddha Vataratri Varnikara, he described. It seems Buddha had a huge tummy. He would keep his hand and roll. He had a tonsured head and he would keep smiling. It is the same figure that we worship as laughing Buddha. We have a Buddha in the six pack of Buddha. We have a Buddha in the Granth Sangha. There is one beautiful play by Ashwaghosha which was written 2000 years before in Sanskrit which speaks of the description of Buddha, the way in which Parashara Bhatta describes. And he had lotus-like eyes. Ratnanabha, Sulochanahana and Namangat. But why we don't celebrate Buddha and Buddhism in Sanatana Dharma is the Lord incarnated to increase the importance of Vedas and Vedantas by speaking against it. So, you can talk about it. 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 
but we don't know you all support right so when a person says that this was not good and you have relished it you go all the way to support it saying that this was good likewise the lord incarnated as buddha to say that vedas don't exist vedas are false in nature vedas don't speak of atma then there will be more people like adi shankara ramanuja madhva vedanta deshika who would come later to establish the authority of vedas so this is to increase the importance that there has been a demeaning and underestimation that has been done at one point in time so this is not to be regarded that the lord himself has spoken against vedas this is a trick tiru vilayadal nu solrom ano adi ramanuja says akhila bhuvana janma thema bhanga aadi leele na vilayattu dhan pirumalukku so this has been a play a tiru vilayadal for him to establish the authority of vedas nevertheless the last avatara is kalki na ye veke paranda idi 12 la in 2012 some people asked have you agreed for upanyasam in the december month i said yes for next 2013 also i have agreed so they said 22nd december the world will get destroyed so i called up the sabha secretaries and said please prepone all my upanyasams i want to complete before the world is they said we have got many other programs don't worry 2012 ayitha 13 ayitha nammal la irukra vekku olagalla aliyave aliyadhu kavaleye padam venda neeve adile vera edho perumala patti kepa this nandi if it touches this rooftop they say that there will be pralayam they last such questions which are of worthless bobbles i would just reply saying that pralayam may happen for different reasons it could also happen for one reason that you are asking such useless questions nee urupadada kelvi kekkara par adukke pralayam varanum adanalae pralaya ennik varudhu ingara pathi nama kavala pada vendam nithya pralayam e irukke thoongi elundukrom ano aduve nithya pralayam da uranguvathu pol shaakkaadu urangi vilippathu pol pirappu nar தூங்கும் போது நல்லா பாய் எல்லாம் போட்டு பாலை குடிச்சுட்டு பக்கத்தில் டாட்டா ஸ்டாயில் வேற ஏற்றிட்டு படுத்துக்கிறோம் என்ன பிரளயம் தானே அது நம்மளே நமக்கு எல்லாம் சேர்த்துக்கிறோம் உறங்கி உறங்குவது போல் சாக்காடு உறங்கி விழிப்பது போல் பிறப்புனர் ஆஸ் பர் ஆர் சாஸ்திராஸ் எவ்ரி யுகா ஹேஸ் சர்டன் நம்பர் ஆஃப் இயர்ஸ் ஃபோர் லேக் தேர்ட்டி டூ தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் இஸ் கலி ட்வைஸ் இஸ் துவாபரம் த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் இஸ் த்ரேதா ஃபோர் டைம்ஸ் இஸ் கிருத்த புட் டுகெதர் யூ காட் ஃபார்ட்டி த்ரீ லேக் டுவெண்ட்டி தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் விச் இஸ் ஒன் சதுர்யுகா thousands such chaturyugas constitute a day of brahma thousands such chaturyugas constitute a night of brahma a day and night constitute one complete day for brahma how hundreds such years he will live so you need to keep adding zeros and we have been in the 28th chaturyuga of vaivasvata manvantaram and in that we have been in kaliyugam in the first quarter prathame paade ashtavimshati tame kaliyuge prathame paade adula irukom ஆத்திய பிரம்மனால அத்திய பிரம்மனா இப்போ இருக்கக்கூடிய பிரம்மண பிரம்மா ஆண்டு இருக்கக்கூடிய காலத்தில் ஸோ ஆஸ் ஆஃப் நவ் ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ஆ ஆட் இயர்ஸ் ஹாவ் கான் பாஸ் பை ஸோ ஸ்டில் தேர் ஆர் ஃபோர் லேக் டுவெண்ட்டி செவன் தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் லெஃப்ட் ப்ராபப்ளி இஃப் வி டோன்ட் ரெசார்ட் டு ஒன் ஆஃப் த மீன்ஸ் லைக் பக்தி விச் இஸ் அ யோகா பக்தி யோகா ஆர் சரணாகதி யோகா விச் இஸ் ஞாச யோகா ஒன் ஆஃப் த டூ இஃப் வி டோன்ட் ஃபாலோ probably now we are in kalingar arangam next time we will be in, uh, in the kamaraj arangam i don't know okay next janmam will be there that's it that time by the time metro would have come in chennai so punarapi jananam punarapi maranam venda mona kalingar arangam undu porachiya adanala inda avadarathin mudivila deshigan solrar kalki avadarama varuvar bhagavan nare ve kepa vanduttar nu solrare adu kalki illa vara porar bhagavan adu vera kalki பார்க்கடல்லை மேலே பவனையின் மேலே பள்ளி கொண்டாய் ரங்கநாதா பார்க்கடல்லை மேலே பவனையின் மேலே பள்ளி கொண்டாய் ரங்கநாதா பரமல நிழல் தேடி பரவசம் ஒரு பாடி கதி நோ 
mortal and i should take no credit for saying this yet i say in this duration of this delivery it could have happened that i have made and committed errors that were through words not using the appropriate words may not have given the right meaning yet vachaka dosham vyakarana dosham shabda dosham edu venalum vandirukalam நீங்கள்லாம் நிறைய பேருக்கிட்ட கேட்டிருக்கேன் பகுதா ஸ்ரோதவியா பகுப்ய ஸ்ரோதவியா அண்ட் ஐம் வெரி ஷுர் தட் வித் அ கிரேட் குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் ஃபர் கிவிங் மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் தட் யூ ஆல் ஆர் பெஸ்டோட் வித் ந தர்மநிஷ்டோஸ்மி ந ஆத்மவேதி ந புத்திமான் ஒன்றும் கிடையாது ஆனால் யூ ஷுட் கைண்ட்லி ஃபர் கிவ் திஸ் லிட்டில் லேட் ஹூ சீட்டட் பிஃபோர் யூ இஃப் ஐ கமிட்டட் எனி எரர் தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் த for parents and patience for having sat through the entire discussion thank you and i would like you all to give a great applause to my accompanist narasimharla 
சாதாரணமா வரணும்னா நான் சொன்னா வர மாட்டார் மிருதங்கம் பேசினாதான் வருவார் கண்ணன் புல்லாங்குழல் பாடினாதான் வருவார் பாமரன் வயலின் வாரிசாதான் வருவார் எதுவா இருந்தாலும் வாத்தியங்கள் தேவை அந்த வாத்தியங்களுக்கு பெருமை சேர்த்து உபன்யாசத்துக்கு பெருமை சேர்த்தவர்களுக்கு நன்றி நீங்கள்லாம் வந்தேள் கலந்தேள் ரொம்ப நன்றி எப்பவுமே செவிக்குணவு நிலுவா ஆயிடுத்து போஜனம் செய்ய வாருங்கள் கூற்றாத அவர கூற்று போஜனம் செய்ய வாருங்கள்